the record button. Okay, I've pushed the record button. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I have my cameraman. Hi. Zane. You can see me in the mirror right there. In the, you mean the window? Yeah. There window, we're mirror, yeah. same thing. Okay. So, <clears throat> you might be wondering about my new makeup. Can they see it, Zane? <laughs> yep. <laughs> So, I just feel like I needed to make this really quick and have this to really hit the point home and you see all that dirt and then I actually got a big gash on my back. So, I've talked about this before and I'm going to say it again because I think people need to hear it. Um, Do the tug test? Huh? Do the tug test. Well, yeah. Zane's right. You do the tug test, but before that, make sure do what? everything the same way every time. And the reason I say that is, and don't let anything interrupt you. So that's really important. So I was getting a ton of messages. It's from my boss, so I want to see what he's saying. But don't even let your boss interrupt you. You've got to do, you've got to complete the task you're doing. So, um, and I know there's going to be uh, several people, including my best truck driving friend, Vince, who are going to make a comment. He'll probably call me. But, um, so I'm going to tell you what happened and what I did. And um, I don't ever, ever, ever want this to happen again. And I don't want it to happen to you ever. So please my warning and um, learn from my mistake. So um, I had gotten, so when you go to uh, um, connect to a trailer, to couple, a lot of times what will happen is you'll feel, you'll, you'll see, you'll be seeing in your side view mirror and you'll feel the back of the truck kind of dip down a little bit going under the trailer if it's if it's the right height. If the trailer's the right height. So if the trailer is high, then that's when you have the problem with overshooting the kingpin. Um, if it's low, so it's a little low like this, and then um, your, your uh, fifth wheel on the back end goes under and it, you'll feel that dip. Well, it was kind of like, I couldn't tell. It was close. Um, and I didn't want to overshoot the kingpin. So I got out and I looked, and yeah, I was I was fine, um, but I didn't go all the way back and kind of you know you don't want to ram so hard that you screw everything up. But um, same. <laughs> Never. Um, you know that you want that you you know blow out your fifth wheel. You don't want to do that, but you you kind of you know do a good a good kind of pop. Um, and I didn't do that. And then um, I did my landing gear, raised it up, you know, hooked all the, um, the air hoses and the electrical up. And, um, and then I got in the truck and I was going to finish backing in, but I got distracted by messages from my boss here and also some El Boss Reno. I should have just ignored them, stayed focused, backed up, did my tug test, and um, what are you doing, Zane? Please don't do that. Okay. So, um, I didn't do that. So I got everything done. Zane. I stopped. <laughs> So this may be the one and only time that Zane gets to be my cameraman. No! Because he's goofing around. But anyway. Um, I can't help it. It's, it's natural for me. So I went to do my tug test and I wasn't connected. So I felt everything sliding. I tried to stop it and it didn't work. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. So, um. I had to get creative. Um, the trailer is tile. It weighed over 40 
5,000 pounds. Um, so cranking it even in low gear was a nightmare. And the other thing is, in this yard, they put the trailers, they're like this close together. It's so tight. So I had to crawl under the trailer next to me and my trailer, like literally under, and crank on my knees anyway. That's how I ended up getting a gash on my back um, and, uh, you know, and all dirty. But uh, please don't do that. Do what? Please learn from my mistake. Complete your tasks. It's really, really important. Number one, the number one thing, do the same thing. Over and over. Every time, <laughs> the same way, the same steps every time. Secondly, don't stop your process until it's done. Because that's when, don't get distracted. So that's, that's a really, really an important um, key. So, um, anyway, Zane's going to help me tomorrow, I think. Um, with, uh, I'm going to show you some more details about the locking mechanisms because I've seen a ton of trailers today and the, over the last week that where people put these wire things, uh, like coat hanger things to hold them together. And if they just looked at the mechanism and did what you're supposed to do, then it would lock, it would be secure and you wouldn't need that. So we're going to do that tomorrow. And, um, yeah, so that's it. And, um, Zane's got a, uh, fingers coming up or something. I don't know. And, um, <laughs> anyway, it's don't really warn fun. Them. It's really fun having Zane on the truck. And, uh, so far. And that's my journey. And so, uh, my journey into trucking. So please like, like share, comment, subscribe, share, and most importantly, Ring the little notification bell on the bottom. Yeah, there's a little bell, and so if you if you subscribe and you push that uh, bell, then you'll get a um, email or a notice on your phone when we post no, a new actually, video. No, actually, if you're a uh, if it's on your computer, there's this uh, it, well, for my Mac. Need to have them look no. at you. Yeah. So for my Mac, it kind of you're, you're doing a poor shot. There you go. So for my Mac, so say. This box is the tree, okay? It would come up like right here. Mm -hmm. And that's where notification is most likely going to be for all you uh, computer, computer users or desktop mm -hmm. users or I don't know. Mm -hmm. And on mine, on my phone, it just comes up in the top and I get an email for the um, places that uh, I subscribe to. So, anyway, like, share. Um, subscribe, comment, and I'm sure I'll get some comments. I involved so rocks and uh, using the the um oh what you call it the uh, suspension lowering the suspension. It was just it was a mix of a whole bunch of different things that I had to do, but I got it done and I took care of it and I never want that to happen again and I don't want it to happen to you. Did you bunny ear me? Oh my goodness. All right. So we got to go. Uh, and uh, that's uh, that's my story and my journey into trucking and my journey with my son. Thanks for being here, you guys. Bye. Stupid angle.